So the cell structures are as observed under an electron microscope. Uh, we earlier learned that an electron microscope has a higher magnification and therefore it shows more details as compared to a light microscope. So So we also looked at uh, the cell under a light microscope whereby we studied the plant cell and the animal cell as observed under the light microscope. And we were able to only uh, view a few structures here and there. When it comes to electron microscope, uh, we'll be able to view more details or more structures. So we'll start with a diagram on uh, a plant cell as viewed under an electron microscope, then an animal cell as viewed under electron microscope. So this is a, a plant cell viewed under electron microscope. As you said, it reveals more details. There's a cell wall, cell membrane, smooth endoplasmic reticulum. We have the nucleus showing the nucleolus. And the chromosomes. We have the chloroplast. Rough endoplasmic reticulum the Gogi apparatus mitochondrion The sap vacuole is still visible. Tonoplast. So and and so on and so forth. So we basically, we can be able to view that uh, there are so many structures that are observed under uh, a, an electron microscope. We'll also have a diagram showing an animal cell, showing more details. So on the animal cell, uh, we have the cell membrane, mitochondrion, cytoplasm, we have the nucleus, having the nucleolus, and also the chromosomes. The nuclear membrane.
Gogi apparatus. Rough endoplasmic reticulum. On the other side, we have the secretory vesicles, lysosome, ribosome, We have the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. So basically, we can be able to view so many organelles. We can view the centrios. So this is a animal cell as viewed under an electron microscope. So it shows more details. So both diagrams show more details of a plant cell viewed under an electron microscope. Uh, and the animal cell viewed under an electron microscope. We have not labeled all the structures because there are many. And uh, during uh, labeling, our arrows should not cross each other. So it should go to the specific part and uh, uh, show with an arrow. And then we should avoid shading the diagram as much as possible. Thank <laughs> you.